morning, a second U.S. airline is taking a stand after the killing of Cecil the Lion. American Airlines announced overnight it will no longer ship big game trophy animals. Delta made its announcement hours earlier, and carriers like United already banned the shipments. Two American hunters, Walter Palmer and Jan Seski, remained under scrutiny for their alleged crimes in Zimbabwe. Anna Werner looks at the larger debate over legal trophy hunting. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Well, big game hunters have felt the backlash ever since Cecil the Lion was killed by a Minnesota dentist. They insist that hunting done ethically benefits endangered animals through millions of dollars funneled to conservation efforts. Those of us that care deeply about these animals, ethical and humane treatment, um, we're sickened by what we've seen. North Carolina attorney Kieran Shanahan has hunted in three African countries. A lion and an elephant are among his trophies, but he calls himself a conservation hunter. Nothing that I've ever shot or that conservation hunters would shoot are endangered in any way. Secondly, the government has blessed and given permits for everything that a conservation hunter, including myself, has ever hunted. Supporters say hunting puts a tangible value on animals, giving locals an incentive to protect them and preserve their habitats. A 2005 study in the Journal of International Wildlife Law and Policy credited limited and sustainable use through trophy hunting and live sales with helping to bring the African white rhino back from the brink of extinction. We know and believe that if we uh, do it properly, uh, that we actually sustain the herds, their healthier herds, and they'll protect these animals so that they'll live for generations. Some estimates say hunting generates $200 million annually for remote areas of Africa. But a 2013 report prepared for the African Lion Coalition found that just 3% of hunting revenue ends up in local communities. Wayne Paselli is president of the Humane Society of the U.S a part of the African Lion Coalition. We don't see any rationale to kill animals just as a headhunting exercise. It's pointless. It's one thing to kill animals for food. It's another to kill them just for their heads. He says the trophy hunting industry is small and shrinking. It's so handsome. But safari tourism is booming. This one trophy hunter paid $50,000 to kill this big male black mane lion. There's no question that thousands of people went to Hwangay National Park in Zimbabwe to see Cecil. He would have generated millions of dollars if he had been allowed to live. Shanahan says the killing of Cecil the lion gave all big game hunters a black eye. When you see something like this uh, horrific incident that we had where someone doesn't go by conservation hunting rules, doesn't get the permits, engages in illegal activity that undermines what the, all the good that conservation hunting has done. Well, he says hunters like him only kill older animals past their prime, but Pasella says trophy hunters kill some of the biggest, most magnificent animals, which he says is bad for the health of the species because genes may no longer be passed on to future generations. Nora? All right, Anna, thank you so much.